Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasure of good gifts and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Lord, Lord, have mercy. 
or deliverance from, or from for travelers by that sea there, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For, for deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Call and remember us, most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, lady, the Pope, and ever virgin, Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. And before, and in these go up, glory and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, God, and ever and to ages of ages. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all. 
round about my limbs, incline not my heart with the words of evil to make excuse, excuse of excuses and sins. With men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous men will chasten me with curse and reprove me. As for the oil and the sinner, that it not anoint my hand. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures, swallowed up near the rock, have their judges been. They shall hear my words, for they be sweetened as a clod of earth is broken upon the earth. So have their bones been scattered nine to Hades. Front me, O Lord, O Lord of mine eyes, and me, O I hope, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own net, I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour, pour out before him my supplication, mine affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my paths. In this way, when I walked, they hid from me a snare. I looked upon my right hand, and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Flight hath failed me, there is none that watcheth out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, and said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from Deliver me from false accusations from <clears throat> I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may confess thy name. He got another father before all ages, and the incarnate of the Virgin Mary, having endured the cross, he was buried as he himself desired, and having risen from the dead, he saved the end. Righteous will surround me, for thou wilt deal bountifully with me. As our Savior, nailed to the cross and on the cross, he died and destroyed the dominion of death. We fall down before his resurrection on the third day. At the depths of thy pride and thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let us praise the resurrection of Christ. He is our Savior, our Redeemer. He is coming with awesome glory and mighty power to judge the world which He made. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The angel proclaimed the crucified and buried master, he told the women, come see the place where he lay. He is risen, as he said, for he is almighty. We worship the only immortal one. Have mercy on us, O Christ the giver of if thou, O Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with thee there is forgiveness. By thy cross thou didst destroy the curse of the tree. By thy burial thou didst slay the dominion of death. By thy rising thou didst enlighten the race of man. O benefactor Christ our God, Lord, we for thy name's sake have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped on the Lord. The gates of heaven to thee from fear, O Lord. When the gods of hell saw thee, they were afraid. For thou didst demolish the gates of brass and smash the iron chains. Thou hast led us from the darkness and shadows of death and hast broken our hearts. And in the fifth tone, and in the fifth tone, let thy, for thy, from the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord.
with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Rejoice, O my very cause, for I come and I of the church and tree of incorruption. You have a day for us, the joy and the good of
his second tone, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadow of the love has been as the bush friend yet was not consumed, so the virgin gave the gift remained a virgin. The righteous sun has risen instead of a pillar of flame, instead of Moses Christ the salvation of our souls.
four families to score, Abigail, Mary Laura, or twelve children, or Mary and Henry, and Lonnie, Devon, and Stephan, and four, uh, four of those child, Mary and four, our four are Hankins, Jeffrey, Gideon, and Sarai, and Lamar, and four, all for those of the temple for the for the part and mission of their sin. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy, 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 Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians. Preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, and together we may glorify the most honorable, majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Father, and of ages of ages. Amen. Can we pray for those great offerings and do good works for us, all in love and for those who labor, those who sing, for all the people who are present, for which they greatly pray. without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified us thy name into the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as according as we have put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O the Lord, thy mercy endureth forever distinct. Despise not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. From the same as ever sent us, keep so God by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord is 
king, he is robed in majesty. By thy burial, thou hast mortified the majesty of death. Thou hast enlightened our grace by thy resurrection. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. When thou hast seen after the cross, O Christ, Thou didst restore the beauty of thy creatures, the soul to show their inhumanity when they pierce thy side with a spear, the Hebrews not knowing thy power, has set thy tomb might be sealed, but through the mercy of thy compassion, thou didst accept the tomb and destroy. It's thy house, O Lord, forevermore. O Christ, the giver of life, for the sake of the dead, I was voluntarily into your town, descending to the house of mighty one, to save those who awaited thy coming, granting them the life of paradise instead of hell. Grant all so to us to glorify thy resurrection on the third day, cleansing our sins and great mercy. And in the fourth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is kingdom, the power, the glory, the Holy Spirit. Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. When thou hast left us like a stone down to death, then didst thou stand by the mighty flash of thy divinity. And when thou hast raised the dead from the Stone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
you know, we just, we consider some, you know, s slight insults or, you know, some kind of mis normal misfortune in life is to be some sort of crucifixion, you know, and then the, 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 the problem is that usually we, we get over those crucifixions. <laughs> I mean, we don't really die, you know, we get up the next morning and we're, you know, we're fine. And um, the, the ultimate crucifixion which the Lord suffered was uh, the entirety of his, you know, his um, material being. You know, he actually suffered real pain and experienced real death. Now, because he did take up this cross for our sake, um, you know, we don't all have to, um, you know, be crucified in that particular way. Although some people are, you know, blessed and honored to do that, but um, you know, I think that it's a, it's a it's a question of real, um, you know, real prayer and real contemplation, and really wanting to know, you know, um, the way you get answers in prayers is by really, really wanting to know. So I mean, sometimes we pray, but it's, it's kind of conditional. But if we're really trying to understand what it is, what is the sacrifice that the Lord is asking of us that is going to be transformative, that's going to be something that, you know, gives us a part in His work of salvation and something that assures our own salvation. And, you know, we, I mean, we speculate about this and we sort of interpret this, but, um, you know, um, we're not always sure what we're doing. And of course, you know, in the, it's in the nature of our life on earth, um, we are sort of geared to um, avoid pain, to avoid unpleasantness, to avoid things that wound and hurt us. And so um, I think that, that sometimes we're reluctant to really go deep into this. But um, the Lord knows our weakness, the Lord knows our limitations, the Lord knows um, more than anything else, He knows the tremendous um, glory, the tremendous reward, the tremendous relief, the tremendous joy and happiness that awaits us on the other side of this giving up of our self for the sake of God, for the sake of Christ, for the sake of the world. And we can't manufacture it, we can't, you know, um, uh, make it happen. But uh, we can pray that the Lord will give us strength and give us courage to face whatever it is that we are asked to face. And not just sort of in the future, but you know, in, in this moment, in this land, in this particular point in time. So, God bless you. And um, with, with uh, the, the love, and the compassion that and that he showed to, to us and gave to us in his uh, embracing of the cross. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.